While capstone projects are the course culmination, our students have been working in project-based learning since the beginning through pair programming, group projects, and individual challenges. They develop a portfolio with hundreds of hours of actual code. During the capstone process, they leverage the agile methodology and tools like GitHub projects to bring their ideas to life. With foresight and planning, they join their capstone teams to try to answer the following questions. What is the core functionality of this application? How should the databases be set up? And who should work on what? And when is it going to be due? In this group, keep an eye out for somebody who could aid your project management at your company. Here's Team Scan, made up of Sarah, Ramon, Tyler, and Rex. Hello, everyone. My name is Tyler Trudgen. My partners are Sarah Nangalan, Rex Sutton, and Ramon Hubble. And we represent the supporters of children with additional needs, also known as SCAN. SCAN is a nonprofit organization that was in need of a website overhaul. After consulting with the program director, we went over a list of features that they wanted and things that needed to be changed. Some of these features included an RSVP tracker, a volunteer tracker, and the ability for the admin of the website to easily create and edit events, as well as albums and photos. Also, as software developers, we noticed that their website was not secure. So naturally, this is at the top of our list of things to change. My main contributions to this site are implementing a Stripe API for donations, user security upon sign up and login, styling, user dashboard design, and admin create, edit, and delete event features. Our website uses Spring Security with hash passwords, as well as a check for duplicate usernames, emails, and mismatched passwords upon sign up. In the interest of time, I will log in as an admin that I have already created to show our create and edit event feature. The create, edit, and delete buttons that you see here are shown only to the admin via Spring Security. Once they use either the edit or create feature, they are then taken to an admin only page. Here they can fill in or edit all the information for an event. Or they can even change the date and time via a date time picker that utilizes a mixture of Bootstrap, jQuery, CSS, and JavaScript. Now I'll pass it on to Sarah. Thanks, Tyler. I'm Sarah Nangolan, and I'm excited to share our project because we've built a web application that will be used by an actual nonprofit organization, which is an industry that is very important to us. My contributions are putting Spring Security in place, the albums, the photos, including implementing FOSTEC API to upload photos, email service, custom error pages, and lastly, integration tests for events, albums, and photos. Today, I'm going to talk about two of these features. First, I'll go over albums. The program director of SCAN wants to have admin access so that she can restrict certain activities on the site to protect children and the integrity of the site. So here, I'm going to log in as myself, an admin. Let's go to albums. As you can see, only the admin has the ability to create, as well as update and delete for albums and photos. Other users or visitors only have read abilities. Here on the albums index page, we see the carousels for the different albums. Clicking on an album, the holidays album for example, will take us to the albums page with all of the scan holiday photos. Clicking on a photo will open up a gallery view that scrolls through that album. The link will take us to the individual photo page. And if we click on this button, we'll be taken to the photos index page. Now say the program director wants to add a photo to an album. Let's say the learn and play album. She'll click on that album and click add a photo. And here we are integrating FileStack API to upload a photo. She'll add a photo of kids playing Legos.
And now, that photo is here in the album. Finally, I'll go over our integration tests. We verify that the CRUD functionalities are working for our events, albums, and photos utilizing Spring integration tests. As you can see, green check marks appear for events, albums, and photos, indicating that we've passed the integration tests. Thank you, and now I'll turn it over to Rex. Thank you, Sarah. My name is Rex Sutton. My main contributions to SCAN were the deployment of the site with all production-ready updates, styling using Bootstrap and CSS, and paired programming with Ramon Hubble using the MVC design pattern to create the relationship between users and events. Today, I'm going to demonstrate the site experience as a visitor who has not created an account with SCAN. As a visitor to SCAN, your abilities are much more restricted than an administrator or a regular user. Seeing as children will be using the site, we wanted to make sure the visitors are able to view albums and individual pictures that have been uploaded by an administrator, but will not have the ability to create or edit any yourself. As you can see, permissions are restricted for events as well. The visitor will not have the ability to RSVP or volunteer for any events. Instead, the buttons will be replaced with the link to the event details on SCAN's Facebook page. Visitors are of course welcome to fill out the contact form if they want any more information before signing up. Lastly, if a user decides that they have all the information that they need and are ready to sign up, they are able to complete the sign up form and start volunteering for events. Now I'm going to pass the torch to Ramon Hubble and he's going to walk you through the experience of being an authenticated user. Thank you, Rex. My name is Ramon Hubble and my contribution to this project was the development of the event show page using Spring Boot, Timeleaf, Java, MySQL, and Bootstrap for styling. I have already logged in as authenticated user. From the upcoming events page, I want to view this event. They need four volunteers for this event, and right now they're currently zero. I'm gonna go ahead and volunteer. Now it is under the volunteer events column, and earlier I went ahead and RSVP'd for Sensory Saturday. As a volunteer, the count went up one, and the RSVP and volunteer buttons do not appear. But you know what? I think uh, I need to change my mind. I don't think I can make it to this event as a volunteer. I'm going to cancel. View event. Now the volunteer count went down one and our buttons now appear on this page. Now this site is live and ready for the scan organization to use. I hope you enjoyed this demonstration as much as we enjoyed helping develop an application that gives this organization robust RSVP and volunteer tracking, full CRUD functionality of events, albums, and photos, and we buttoned up their security needs. This concludes our presentation. Please scan on over to our About Us page to see four great developers who are team-oriented, focus, and are changing the world through programming. To see more of our projects, click on our GitHub link. And also, get to know us more through our LinkedIn and alumni portal links. Thank you for watching.